Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Yanning Lian from Modern Optometry. I'm in Toronto area. So today I want to talk about why I didn't get LASIK for myself. This is a question that a lot of people ask when they come in to see me and they're considering LASIK. So um, it's a personal question. Everyone has their own choices, right? So there are a few things that you will consider before you do LASIK and uh, an optometrist can do a consult and walk you through those. So you know if you're a good candidate or not. And these are really important before you decide to do a surgery because technically it's not reversible. So going from uh, those questions. Uh, so for example, I would need to know what's the eye power, what's the curvature of the eye, um, the how it has changed from previous years, if it's been stable for over two years, uh, the external eye health and the internal eye health, if there's any uh, vitreous changes, uh, retinal changes, any bleeding at the back of the eye, any family history of that, overall health of yourself. Um, and then there is the additional questions outside of the eye health and uh, overall health. Uh, for example, it's such as why do you want it? You only wanted to have the freedom for sports or for work. So what are your work visual needs? What are your hobby visual needs? Um, what are the risks that you can tolerate? And, and then goes back to you know how it links with your overall health and in general. So um, I'll start with myself, uh, why I don't want LASIK. Um, so for me, I don't have a huge want. Um, I have easily accessible glasses in my own office. I have content lens, I have daily content lens. I can uh, allow my eyes to breathe pretty good in them. So, um, I don't have a craving for LASIK, uh, but also um, there are patients that come in and I don't know what part of earth they may come from on uh, in Asia or anywhere else. There are some people still think that um, girls with glasses look a lot more ugly. Um, the reality is, as you can see it, um, you just need to pick the right pair of glasses for them. So I wanted to share with them that, you know, me wearing glasses is still widely accepted in my community. So then the female that walks into my door, be them in their, uh, you know, teenager years or younger, such so as 10 year old, they still have the confidence to tell their parents that, oh, mom, I'm not seeing well. Uh, because there is one case that happened recently that, you know, somebody come in and see me for a sudden emotion loss. It was a young child. And... Uh, the father was concerned because he took her to the hospital thinking that she has sudden vision loss and they need to see the, someone in an emergency. So they had to wait for the nighttime one, but you know they didn't stay long enough and then they found me the next day. And I was able to find out that you know in one eye she's got minus three and the other eye is minus 0. 0.5. So she's seeing one in, well in one eye. Uh, but it's not sudden that you know uh, she became minus three in one eye. It happened gradually. But she didn't ha have the heart to tell her family because uh, she's afraid of judgment from her community or peers or uh, whoever that's around. So um, it's good to show them that I can look um, still um, decent with my glasses. Uh, just need to pick the right frame. Uh, and it would give females in this world a better confidence about themselves and not just have people judge them, but just on looks. Uh, it could also uh, just based on their uh, efforts and personality. Uh, so the other thing I need to look at is my own work and hobby needs. So for work, I need to be able to see that my patient could see the 2020 line. So I need 2020 vision. Um, and I also uh, do archery as well as um, jewelry making. So those need really good visions. Archery, I need to have 2020 vision for far. And jewelry, I need to have 2020 vision for near. So um, in LASIK surgery or other refractive surgery as SMILE, they may tell you that it's guaranteed 2040 or better, but it's not always 2020. So I'm having 2020 always, so I want to keep it that way. Um, the other thing is, uh, like I said, you need to be able to tolerate your risk. So some people who are surgeons, they may not tolerate the risk. Who are in accounting or finance, they may still tolerate it. Some people would bear with dry eyes and they said, okay, you know, I just go in for dry therapy afterwards and that's okay. Um, so everyone's choice is different. And then for overall health, I'm generally healthy, uh, but I do have keloid growth. So that means uh, my skin would scar easily. So for example, uh, from artery, I develop um, 
uh, from possibly my poor positioning. I have, I have a growth at the back of my shoulder blade and there was fat growth. I had it removed. Um, so they have to stitch up the skin, but I have uh, excess growth from that. So that's for my key light world. It may or may not happen when they do the LASIK surgery on my eyeball, but I don't want to uh, take that risk as well. So that's just something I need to know for my own overall health. And everyone's assessment is different. So anytime you want to consider LASIK surgery, just see an optometrist for a personalized consult. And they will walk you through to see uh, if it's the best option for you based on your own needs, your wants, uh, your risk tolerance, and your work and hobby. So, um, Thank you for watching. If you find it useful for your friends or family, please do share. Um, if there's anything else you want me to talk about, you can just comment below. Uh, general questions, I'll try to answer it. Any specific personal questions, please do not do not comment on public forum because you know you want to protect your own medical privacy. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.